Hi everyone, it's almost midnight and I'm Raziel Kane and by the time you watch this it won't be midnight. Uh, maybe I'll premiere this at uh, 10 a.m. I don't know. I'm super excited. I just got... Uh, well, yeah, of course, the instruction. Well, people like instructions, so there you go. Uh, but I got this box and there was a robot inside. His name is Slag, not whatever this thing says. Um, and it came with an accessory which um, I'm just sorry it's late we've actually been um, with my hair it's a mess uh, we were at the uh, water park in um, Saint Alix this morning well the whole day uh, with my sister-in-law um, uh, nice water park have fun came back home check my uh, emails uh, it says delivered so went to the mail at 11 uh, pick this box up and I'm like I'm just gonna do a review right now because I haven't seen no not true I saw Larkin posted a review maybe memo um, man I can't recall like I said it's super late but I just wanted to get the filming and uh, get the review out so sorry if the transformation is flimsy sorry if I'm missing on some of the details but I really wanted to uh, get this uh, review out because I'm super excited to have this uh, this bot. Um, Slag was originally voiced by Neil Ross, which I'll have to cover eventually. Save friends. <laughs> Neil Ross is an interesting voice actor um, that I'm hoping to cover soon. That being said, um, I hope you enjoy this. It's kind of cool because I have, I had, where is it? There it is. I had the original uh, slag uh, complete with uh, a gun. I don't know where it fits. Uh, maybe it's broken, but I do have the missiles that don't fire. But whatever, it's complete. Like you saw, it's already out of the box. I really just wanted to uh, see it, play with it. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, uh, as you can tell, my backdrop is not big enough for this box, um, but it's a very, it's big. I actually have a Grimlock Studio Series 86 upstairs. My wife and I have a deal where every 10 pounds that we get rid of, we buy each other a little present. She bought me Studio, Studio Series 86 Grimlock. So... The deal is 10 pounds and I have 11 pounds to go. So that's going great. So this box looks amazing. You have slag and you have, you have details of uh, this thing here. I'm just gonna call it Jimmy because it looks nothing like Daniel. Um, slag and robot lag in I know but and you know what is really really exciting for me is that I have generation one figure which doesn't show on camera because I don't have enough room and I also have I think it's complete so I'll do a quick side by side or uh, later let me open this box and let's take a look at this Okay, uh, out of the box, uh, he's even more impressive. He looks just amazing. And this thing is it's hefty, like there's a good weight to it. Um, he's, he's still lighter than Beast War Megatron uh, for comparison. Oh yeah, it comes with this. But I've made the joke a lot in the chats. I would like to mail this to Firetox so that he could melt it, paint it, you know, make the uh, slag sword and paint it red. But he assures me that you can't do that. And now, taking a look at the gun, uh, very detailed, not many paint applications, um, very cool gun. Um, I guess it's 
I guess it's kind of reminiscent of this one here, the original. Uh, not sure. Yeah, yeah, I can see the resemblance. Uh, compared to the G1, uh, which I think is complete. I just don't know. Maybe I broke this piece, uh, but it doesn't seem to clip anywhere. Uh, but I do have the original gun, the missiles that don't fire from this thing, and the sword. And it's a pretty cool sword hilt. The, the, the cross guard is pretty nice. I wish we would have had that sword instead of this crap. But um, I think it's a concept that they're going to use for every Dinobot. So maybe, I don't know, for some reason we could get a sludge with a Kranix. And maybe with a Snarl they could include uh, Arblus. For Swoop we could be getting, uh, oh I don't know. Marissa Fairborn? Nah, I don't think they'll do that. If they stick to the movie, that's pretty much all the non-Transformer cast. Like, non-Autobot Decepticons. Let me know in the comment, who do you think would be a, a fifth crappy accessory for the Dinobots? Uh, I'm still new at this. So, uh, Fist will rotate 360. Elbow, get more than 90. Oh, the double uh, jointed. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the head, I haven't even transformed him yet. Um, but I know you can remove this piece here, but the head will rotate. Uh, it lifts up because of, I'm guessing, transformation. With uh, this thing on the ball. Yep, rotation, will do 360. Um, do you have a hip rotation with this thing? And uh, check, yep. We do get waist rotation. The horns will, are they? Huh, I don't want to break them. Ah, a little hollow. I don't mind it. I don't mind the, you see on the camera, it's kind of hollow, but like I said in previous video, I, I really don't mind. I understand why Asbro is doing it, uh, to save money and, uh, but at the end of the day, it's not that bad. Knee, oh, look, mm, nice sound. Nice ratchets. Uh, oh, and the arm, yeah, the arm will rotate completely if you remove a bit of the back. The leg will do a nice split. You get, oh, a very, very pronounced ankle rocker. No toe. Nope, those don't move. Um, that's kind of my complaint with those figures. Like you can place them with this pose here, you know, with the legs. And uh, I have yet to find a figure that I can actually easily put a knee up, you put in like that, that doesn't stand on its toes. Uh, Sunstreaker, I'm able to flatten the toe because of transformation. So I can actually get a good kneeling, but he's still tilted. But I think Asbro should aim to have figures that can kneel like this. That'd be, just for possibility, that'd be great. So the leg, as you can see, will rotate at the joint here. It probably could do a 360, but it, the waist stands in the way. Um, rocker, oh, it clips really solid. It's really good. I like this. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cleaned up. Uh, transformation. Uh, what you're gonna do first is extend this. See the the ex same piece from the G1, but it connects up here, not under like near the butt. So it's not that much in the way. So you're gonna hold this piece like this, and you're gonna push this piece here back and there you go simple as that I have a unique complaint it's not a complaint I mean the transformation is fine uh, have you seen you know you just need to line up everything everything is so tight great figure for some reason I I think he's a little too high on his feet like Put him side by side with the other. Am I? You can't really 
put him side by side. Let's. You, you see what I mean? I mean, it's great. It looks awesome. Slag is so great. Um, but there's just, I don't know, maybe the belly is too high. Like it, you know, here it's lower. This is a little high. I don't know. But man, it's, like I said, it's a unique complaint. It's, look at that. I mean, it's just perfect. Um, in beast mode, uh, you do have a good rotation, uh, but it doesn't go around all the way. This one, the nice ratchet, you, so I guess for posability, you could, uh, kind of pose in this piece or at least, oh yeah, it does. Yeah. It folds in because of transformation, but so I guess you could pose them in different uh, different ways um, the mouth will open a little bit um, you don't see the head uh, I mean this is you can't see much of the robot here like you have the feet here but that's about it I mean it just looks fantastic um, one thing I would have loved is a new version of this sword uh, to go with him and maybe a fire effect for the mount because he's the fire breeder so i would have liked to see that but i can picture this guy just ramming devastator in the foot and just pushing him against the wall details uh it's molded everywhere paint application here uh here uh the eyes are really really well done uh, i wish they could have made this one the same color here so you have similar articulation uh, paint, but um, and I think the inclusion of the gun in the tail, I think this one is done better than what they did for Dinobot. I don't know, maybe because this one is actually you, you can tell it's a robot dinosaur, and Dinobot is supposed to hide as an actual dinosaur. So I think this this here works better on Slag. I'm, I'm simply stunned. This is a, an amazing figure. I'm glad I got this figure from CMD store. Again, links will be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Slag uh, with. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out my voice acting playlist. Don't forget to leave a comment. I really like re reading you guys. I'm still looking for constructive criticism. Uh, if my lighting is bad, if my sound is terrible, if my image quality is crap, I need to know about it. If you can't stand the sound of my voice, there's other channels. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!